Right now, Danel employees are calling on government to assist with delays in salary payments. Frustrated Danel workers are marching to the Public Enterprises Department. They are also concerned over restructuring at the cash strapped entity, which they fear will lead to job losses. ENCA's Heidi Jokos is following that story for us. She joins us now live to tell us more. Heidi, um, those workers um, having arrived, I think you told us uh, at some point that they have arrived at the public enterprises offices already. Uh, what is it exactly that they're demanding? Yes, uh, Masako, they have arrived. They've already handed over the memorandum and they have since uh, dispersed. The biggest issue on uh, that memorandum and uh, the demands that they want to be met is the fact that they want workers to be paid. Um, workers have not been paid for the past three months and they are not expecting to be paid at the end of July as well. This is of course a massive problem for workers. They're expected to be at work but they're not being paid. So uh, NUMSA decided to march to the Department of Public Enterprises to try and get the attention of the Minister and the Department uh, for this payment to be made. But I think to get further clarity we are joined by NUMSA spokesperson Pakamile Flubi Majola. Thank you so much for your time Pakamile. Let's Let's just uh, start off with uh, the fact that um, you have marched here to the Department of Public Enterprises. What exactly are you demanding? Yeah, well, you summarized it perfectly. The core demand is that workers must be paid. And I think for us, we made the point to the DDG, Mr. Weekend Bangane, who came out to receive the memorandum, that it is a real disgrace that employees at the Department of Enterprises see no problem in the fact that they are receiving salaries and yet they are overseeing a, a, a division that's one of the SOEs where workers have not been paid. They're frankly, frankly, they should be ashamed of themselves and we made that clear because it is unfair that each and every time we have to do this. You know, before this, as you know, for two years, workers at Denel had not been paid. Um, only recently, we managed to secure payment of their salaries for the last year. And that only happened because NUMSA went to court to secure a court order where we attached bank accounts. Only then were salaries paid. It is really disgraceful how Minister Pravin Gordhan has been running these state-owned entities. He's literally running them to the ground. He doesn't care about the pain of ordinary workers and their families. And it's, it's so sad for us to have to keep coming here to demand something that rightfully belongs to workers. Uh, you've given the department uh, seven days to respond to uh, your demands. Do you think that this will be met and just given the frustrations and the challenges that workers face on a daily basis? I mean, they're expected to go to work, but they're not being paid. We've said that they must respond, and if they don't respond, we'll be back here. And we will bring back all the workers and they will sit here and they will feed them and they will take care of them until work, their salaries are paid. I think we've reached a point where we are tired. We are tired of having to go through this with this department each and every single time. They don't, they're not doing anybody any favors here. These are not slaves. These people have rendered a service. They must be paid. Why are we even having these conversations? And this is a, a reflection on the kind of disdain uh, and, and it's a reflection of the incompetence that we keep seeing coming from this minister when it comes to SOEs, where the attitude that we keep experiencing as Labour, it's almost as if it doesn't matter that workers are suffering. It doesn't matter that the entity is collapsing. He just wants to be able to take credit for the fact that he has re restructured in the way that he's restructured without giving any care at all to how this impacts directly on workers and their livelihoods. So we will come back here um, until this situation is resolved. Our memorandum doesn't just speak about salaries. It speaks about the fact that they're currently restructuring Denel and there's already threats of job losses. And we're saying that's completely unacceptable. Haven't these people gone through enough? At what, when is the suffering going to stop for workers at Denel? Just lastly, uh, Pagamila, you, when you were ha uh, reading over the memorandum and handing it over to the acting DDG, you spoke about the fact that there have also been suicides and people have just not been able to cope um, because of the current situation at Denel. Maybe just briefly explain to us what actually happened. It's very, very painful and we, we made this point very clear to him when we were handing over the memorandum to say that the consequences of their inaction as paid employees of the Department of Public Enterprises who are paid, by the way, as a result of the taxes of the very same workers who are here, is that there's been at least two people who've taken their lives. 
So as we speak, there are families whose loved ones have committed suicide because they could not cope because of the suffering that was inflicted upon them by this department. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you've got workers who've lost their houses, they've lost their cars, they've experienced the humiliation of their kids being kicked out of school, they're living with relatives, they can't feed their kids. There was a, a, a grown lady who was here this morning who said to me, Pax, I'm here, I've got no food at home. I came here because I have no other avenues. I'm here out of frustration. And what else are we supposed to do when we're faced with these types of, of situations for something that can be so easily resolved? And I think this is why Numsa has consistently said that Pravin Gordhan is a disaster as a minister. We do not understand why he is still here. Of all the ministers, this man has demonstrated himself to be the worst. SAA has collapsed. SA Express has, has been liquidated. Denel is on the verge of collapse. And so is ESCOM. You know, the suffering just continues for workers at SOEs everywhere as, as long as this man continues to hold the position as Minister of the Department of Public Enterprises. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Um, I think just some perspective, Masekho, um, as to what uh, those demands are, but also I think it's important to highlight what uh, the department's uh, acting director, deputy director general, has uh, indicated um, uh, with regards to this memorandum handed over. Um, he was up here and he said that he understands the plight of workers. He says uh, uh, he understands the concern of Denal. Um, and uh, this particular matter is at the highest level of government uh, to try and get it sorted. I, I, I must say, Masekho, it's, it's completely shocking that workers have not been paid for three going on to four months, but they expect it to be at work every single day. So this is definitely something that must be addressed. And uh, the Department of Public Enterprise is saying that they've um, sent it to the highest level of government to sort out. And Heidi, this is not the first time that this situation takes place at Danelle. I mean, when I um, think about what Danelle used to be, uh, you know, uh, providing and supplying services for aircrafts, etc., to other countries, as well as our very own SANDF and the South African Air Force, and what it's become today, and how silent government is about how the state owned enterprises is unable to pay salaries at some point. They're unable to even, uh, you know, do its ordinary work and provide these services. It's quite shameful what um, the government is leaving Danelle to become now. Let's take